Novel Therm combines breakthrough geothermal power production with immersive high-performance compute cooling technology, providing its customers with a low-cost private cloud service entirely powered by green energy. A modified Stirling engine is a key component of their economical renewable electricity production. This engine produces electricity using low-temperature geothermal resources, resources with water temperatures too low to use in other, more conventional power plants. To demonstrate this, Novel Therm has constructed a complete working model of their heat engine. It is a viable energy solution to the intense electrical power demands of High Performance Compute, or HPC. Every component is either a facsimile or a scaled-down version of what is deployed in the field. This component is a facsimile of a shallow geothermal well. It is a water heater, producing hot water at 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Actual field applications use a geothermal well, which brings up hot water in a temperature range between 180 degrees and 200 degrees Fahrenheit, or 85 to 90 degrees Celsius. This low heat requirement allows the use of wells that are 80% shallower, providing substantial cost savings. Shallower wells also avoid production well maintenance issues, typically found in the 5,000 to 10,000 foot deep wells needed for conventional geothermal power plants. A heat exchanger extracts heat from the geothermal hot water, transferring it into the engine's working fluid. The water is then pumped back into the source aquifer. These coils are shell and tube heat exchangers, which are essentially a tube within a tube. The inner tube contains a special, highly expansive working fluid. The space between the tubes cycles hot water to expand the working fluid, and then cold water to contract it. This radiator is a facsimile of either cooling towers or a cool groundwater source. The radiator keeps the cooling water at a temperature of around 80 degrees, or approximately 100 degrees Fahrenheit lower than the inlet hot water temperature. This engine operates without a phase change, conserving energy. Other geothermal conversion technologies, which do require a phase change, are far less efficient at sub-boiling input temperatures that is, below 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. They also require significantly lower cooling water temperatures and higher flow rates. This makes them cost prohibitive, if not impossible to deploy in low heat sub-boiling conditions. The dramatically higher efficiency of this heat engine at lower temperatures is key to its economic viability. This demonstration engine uses four red hydraulic cylinders with pistons that slowly cycle back and forth. One end of the cylinder contains the special working fluid, and common hydraulic fluid occupies the other side of the moving piston. As the expanding working fluid drives the piston, it pressurizes the hydraulic fluid. By using four cylinders and timing their movement, the hydraulic fluid pressure stays relatively constant, as indicated here on this pressure gauge. The engine's piston assemblies travel very slowly by design. Field deployed engine cycle times are up to 2.5 minutes. Consequently, the engine has little to no wear on its internal components compared to a turbine engine. The engine is expected to realize a 40 year plus lifespan, providing a long term competitive advantage, over twice that of today's wind and solar technologies. Full scale power plant modules contain approximately 32 cylinders. Their number is determined by the resource temperature well flow rate, and horsepower desired. This cylinder redundancy also provides an option to bypass cylinders for maintenance, allowing the machine to continue making power 24-7. Electricity production is achieved by delivering the pressurized hydraulic fluid to a hydraulic motor. The motor spins a shaft that directly spins an electric generator. Unlike this demonstration device, full-scale installations require no gear assembly or transmission further reducing complexity and maintenance. There are multiple applications of this breakthrough technology. It can pump oil, water, or pressurize water for desalinization. Additional heat sources include focused solar and industrial waste heat. The engine's low heat requirement also makes cogeneration viable with normally unused industrial waste heat streams. It should be noted that production power plants will be assembled using components supplied by established American companies who will provide piston assemblies, pumps, heat exchangers, as well as other components. 
For further information concerning geothermal powered HPC data center services or heat engine power plant acquisition, contact Novel Therm at NovelTherm.com.